Hi everyone, I am back and I'm back with amazing news. If you guys have not realized um, by now, we are having a conference. So for those who don't know, my name is Ruth Naomi Mitchell. Some of you guys know me as Prophetess Ruth Mitchell and I'm very, very excited. I wanted to come real quick just to let you guys know we are less than two weeks away from our break free healing and deliverance conference and i had to show up i had to show up it's been a while and i don't want anyone to miss out on this opportunity to truly i don't want anyone to miss out on this opportunity to truly come and be a part of the body of Christ, be a part of what God is doing um, in this season. God is after his people. He wants to heal them. He wants to deliver them. And I'm really excited that God would choose this ministry, House of Rescue, to do that. Uh, feel the Holy Ghost. Um, many of you guys know me from my women's ministry called Fabulously Far Above Rubies. Um, I've been doing that for over 10 years. And so you guys have now been seeing me in a different light. And it doesn't mean that I've changed. I keep saying I've literally evolved. And that's what it, it is. I've been on a mandate and I've always been on this mandate, even since my women's ministry far um, on setting the captives free. And little did I know that the Lord was going to try me, test me, process me in order to elevate me, in order for me, for me to walk in a different dimension, a new dimension in him that I didn't even know existed. Akushandai. Rabba Kushai, I feel the presence of the Holy Ghost. For those who don't know, a few years ago, almost four years ago, I almost lost my life in child's birth. I had to do emergency, an emergency C-section, a massive blood transfusion and a hysterectomy all at age 30. And that's when my life began to change. I don't know if I should say upside down, that the process of that pregnancy taught me a lot that I did not know exist. And almost losing my life to child's birth woke me up spiritually. Almost losing my life in child's birth had truly, truly um, waked me up. I remember when I got home from the hospital and i kept messaging my doctor why can't i still breathe she's saying what are you talking about you can breathe um you know i had a breathing tube down my throat and so forth and so i thought that maybe affected me why i couldn't breathe i went through cat scans i went through the doctor and guess what at some point i had to recognize this is beyond medical this is spiritual for two years two years i almost two years i had to hide almost two years a year and change i was off social media you know i was off my youtube i was literally fighting for my life what do you mean i have the holy ghost i'm baptized in the name of jesus christ and yet something is wrong and no one can help me. It took praying. It took God leading me. Hallelujah, Jesus. To the right people. Hallelujah, Jesus. And, you know, I just bless God because all the years of speaking in tongues couldn't help me. Fasting could not help me alone. Mm -mm. There was something that was warring against me that the church hardly talks about. I was under severe witchcraft attack for two years. I had to hide myself. Over two years, I had to hide myself. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I began to decide it is either i'm going to die 
or I'm going to fight and live to see my children. I'm going to fight and live so that the enemy will not take me out. Ah, Kushanda, I don't know who, I'm t I'm, who am I talking to, but you may feel the same way that I felt for the two years and change that I had to hide. For the months I had to see God's face on how to war, how to truly fight a good warfare. It is not just speaking in tongues and being baptized in Jesus name, Akushanda, but it is about knowing how to fight a good warfare. Hallelujah, Jesus. It is about knowing, hallelujah. The word of God says what? We wrestle not against flesh and blood. And I'm reading it here. Hallelujah, Jesus. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high place. Repeat this over and over and over again. Rebekete, as a body of Christ. But yet we are soldiers that don't know how to take up our weapons and fight. It took me two years to learn how to fight. Rebekete, else you would have been looking at a dead woman. You would have been burying a dead woman. You would have been saying, ah, it's child's birth. You'd been saying, ah, it's unfortunate. She was ill. She was sick. But I'm so happy that God allowed me to experience what I experienced so that I could wake up to realize that it's not only about going to church religiously, but there are things that we are facing. Ah, I want to take you guys back to Matthew 15 and Mark 7, I believe, with that woman that took up, the woman that came before the Lord, that was begging the Lord, please deliver my daughter from these demons that are kushanda rebekete ya kushanda hai she had demons and she said come i need you to deliver my daughter she was begging jesus to deliver her daughter the disciples say woman they didn't want to deal with her hallelujah jesus and god said jesus said to, the, to, to, to this woman listen to me why are you trying to take what is not yours? This what I have is for is is for God's children, which is the Israelites. Hallelujah, Jesus. But the woman knew that Jesus had something that she needed. Ah, uh, let me go into the word. Let me go into the word. Let me go into the word right here. Rebeke shekete. I feel the presence of the Lord. Verse 25 in Matthew 15 says, But she came and worshipped him, pleading again, Lord, help me. Jesus responded, "Is It isn't right to take food from the children and throw it to what? The dogs. The Gentiles. Oh, God Almighty. She replied, That's true, Lord. But even dogs are allowed to eat the scraps that fall beneath their master's table. Dear woman, Jesus said to her, your faith is great. Your request is granted. And her daughter was instantly healed. Instantly what? Healed. In verse 22, it shows us what? That her daughter was possessed. It says what? For my daughter is possessed by a demon that torments her severely. Listen to me. It is time that the children the high. Dear woman. Jesus said to her, your faith is great. Your request is granted. And her daughter was instantly healed. Instantly what? Healed. In verse 22, it shows us what? That her daughter was possessed. It says what? For my daughter is possessed by a demon that torments her severely. Listen to me. It is time that the church wake up. Because deliverance is the children's bread. Too much of us are going through. Too much of you all are going through things. A good sermon is not going to fix it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Sermons are good and everything. But Jesus, Akushandai, Jesus was the one that delivered this woman, daughter that was demonically possessed. Hallelujah, Jesus. Rebekete Yakushandai. I just, I, I'm getting excited. I just want to invite you guys. If you know that something is going on in your life, 
if it's infirmity for years after years and you have not been he healed yet healed yet i'm inviting you to our break free I'm inviting you to our Break Free Healing and Deliverance Conference in Kingston, Jamaica at the Altamont Court Hotel. Don't miss it. It is June the 30th, Friday night at 6 p.m. Hallelujah. On June the 30th. And we go over to July the 1st. We start at 12 noon. Don't miss it. Don't miss it because deliverance is for you. Hallelujah, Jesus. You've been seeking God. You've been wondering why I'm going through what I'm going through. Hallelujah, Jesus. God wants to deliver you. Hallelujah. You have the Holy Ghost. You're baptized already. But there is still a thorn there. There is still something there. This woman that we read in Matthew 15 and Mark 7 knew that Jesus could solve the problem. She knew that Jesus could deliver her daughter that is demonically possessed. Hallelujah, Jesus. And she believed in Jesus. So that's how you know deliverance is the children's bread. Hallelujah. Deliverance is for everybody, but it's particularly for God's children. It is particularly for those who believe in Jesus. It is particularly for us as the body of Christ. There are some things that you need deliverance for. What are you waiting for? I cannot wait to see you all come to the Break Free Healing and Deliverance Conference. I bless the Lord for delivering me. For in times when I did not know what is going on, I have the Holy Ghost. I preach, I teach, but something, something Akushanda, is fighting me. Something is trying to take my life. And I had to wake up after I almost died. After I did a what emergency C-section, a massive uh, a blood transfusion and a hysterectomy at age 30. Left, I was in the ICU. The doctors were saying that they did not know if I was going to live. But the Lord have called me. He has resurrected me from the dead and he has snatched me out of the plans of the enemy. And he has saved my life and he has called me for such a time as this. And I just want to beckon unto somebody. Witchcraft is not bigger and better and better than our God. And I am excited and I implore you to come down to the Altamont Hotel in Kingston, Jamaica for June the 30th and July the 1st. Your life will never be the same. God wants to deliver you. God bless you all. I really want you all to share this. Share this video for those who have been bounded and trapped, for those who've been feeling depression, depressed for years, for those who have been feeling stuck, for those who have been wrapped up in bondage and infirmity. God wants to deliver you. God wants to deliver his people. Hallelujah, Jesus. Once again, I love you all so much. And I cannot wait to see you guys at the Break Free Healing and Deliverance Conference. God bless you. Bye.